Kathy Grimm, Holland City Clerk. Mayor and Council, I appreciate the opportunity to speak to you today. As you are aware, the Clerk's Office is the keeper of records and other duties, such as assisting with Council packets, summaries, and referrals, minutes, iCompass administration, oaths of office, and contract follow-up, to name a few. We are still dealing with the November 2020 election over 13 months later. FOIA requests continue to come in, state legislation and legislators are in the news about needed election changes and various audits of the results have taken place. This has taken more of our office's time than expected, but we are confident of our safe, secure, and accurate results. Our office oversaw two elections in 2021, the May election for Holland and Hamilton Public Schools and the city general election for selecting council members and the mayor. Both elections were run by wards, which allowed for minimal ballot styles and staffing at the polls. We experienced the expected impact of a greatly expanded absentee voter list, however. The lead up time to each election has changed and our new normal is an increased workload, increases in printing, stock and postage costs and smaller turnout at the polls. An average election cycle requires approximately 15 weeks of our staff's time for the entire process. The biggest change we are noticing is a greater increase in absentee voting and the much smaller turnout at the polls. The challenge then is to provide timely service to the absentee voters using the limited office staff we have and at the same time run the required number of polling locations we have always had. For 2021, this has worked out, but looking at 2022, we will be challenged as the August and November elections will again require running 15 precincts fully staffed. In May, Michigan Secretary of State Benson came to Holland to observe our election procedures on election day, including evaluation and approval of our use of drop boxes. Holland City served as a test location for the state for a couple of new election procedures at the recommendation of the Ottawa County Clerk. We hosted a risk limiting audit trial after the May election. Members of the State Bureau of Elections, our two county clerks, and some of our office staff conducted and evaluated the audit process with hopes of introducing it in some form statewide. For the November 2nd election, we planned, organized, and evaluated an alternate method of getting election results to the county on election night. We anticipate changes to requirements about the use or non-use of any electronic submissions. So we worked with the Ottawa County Clerk's Office and the Ottawa County Sheriff's Department to deliver results safely and in a timely manner after the polls closed. We are pleased that these processes reflect the county's and state's acknowledgement of our election procedures. After being closed for passports the several past months, our office opened once again as an acceptance facility for the general public on May 10, 2021. However, a few changes have been made with how we operate and now all passport operations are done by appointment. In July, our office expanded on the current hours and now offer appointments Monday through Friday. By changing the availability, we were able to process more applications while also maintaining control over the amount of people in our office at any given time. The average number of passports executed for the months of August, September, and October was 105 per month. The current expectation is for the number of processed passports to continue this trend for several months. With travel restrictions, the clerk's office may not see the same number of passports as in previous years. Our customer service department answers the main line, greets visitors, provides direction to various departments, prints Project Pride coupons, and assists with elections and other departments as needed. Cross-training continues with many of the clerk's office functions. Day-to-day -day work continues on passports, contract follow-up, record retention, business licensing, recording of minutes, voter registration and maintenance, iCompass training and setup, plat book updates and cleanup, FOIAs and supporting other departments, to name a few. A look ahead, priorities. Possible May 2022 school election, filing deadline February 8, 2022, 4 p.m. Recruit more election inspectors. Review our office capacity to handle the absentee voters due to increased number and permanent absentee voters. 
budgeting for increased mailing costs of election absentee applications and ballots, redistricting, maintenance of voter records and mailing to meet state requirement, update all voter records and mail new voter ID cards to all registered voters in the city. Passport services resumed May 2021. Fiscal year to date revenue is $28,000. This continues to provide a valuable service to citizens. Continued cross-training, iCompass, council meetings, follow-up, tax abatements, ordinance preparation, business licensing, public notices, and FOIAs. Finally, I would like to introduce our staff, Brenda Caterberg, Elections Coordinator and Records Management, Kara Sanchez, Department Assistant, Linda Browsey, Clerical Assistant, Beth Christians, and Kyle Johnson, Customer Service. Our team supports each other to keep things moving forward with positivity and works well together. Thank you to our clerks team for their continued important work.